Hello my dear kids, welcome back to the Knowledge series by Amit Publishing House. Children, I am Vandana and we are doing Maths of Class 5. This is a book children and the name of a book is Joyful Mathematics. So today we are going to start a new chapter. This is chapter number 16 of your book and the name of the chapter is Patterns. So we have already studied in previous classes about Patterns. Now we shall discuss some more different, difficult varieties of which follow some definite patterns. So class, uh, previous class we have pattern chapter per hai, but here we are going to learn something different and difficult than that. So one term is missing in each pattern. So here har ek pattern mein ek term miss hai. So here you can see in this figure mein, it's, I think, 3 o'clock. Now here it is 6 o'clock. Now here again, you can see it's 9. So what will be the pattern here? You have to find out. This one, this one, this one or this one. So which do you think will be the correct? So this is the correct. It will be 12 o'clock now. Similarly, let's move on to question number 2. Here you can see one slash is there and two dots. Again, it's straight and two dots. Again, it's slanting, two dots. So what will come here? Will it be straight? Will it slant? Will it be like this? Or will it be like this? So here, what do you think? Which one is correct? So yes, this C part is correct. Now similarly, you have to find the answer of the rest questions that are given here. These questions are to be done by yourself. What is number pattern? Numbers form interesting patterns. These numbers are interesting patterns. Let us learn about new number patterns and number bonds. Chali, to hum kuch number patterns or number bonds ke baare hain. First is square numbers. A number that can be arranged in a square pattern is called square number. Aise number jise hum square pattern mein dikhte hain, usse hi hum square number kehte hain. Square of a number can be obtained by multiplying the number by itself. Square kaise nikalte hain? Kisi bhi number ko khud se multiply kehte hain. For example, number 1 is written as multiply 1. So number 2 is written as 2 multiply 2 which is 4. Number 3 as 3 multiply 3 which is 9. And number 4 is written as 4 multiply 4 which is 16. So here you can see different patterns are made for all these. So the first square number is shown as square containing 1 dot. So here you can see only 1 is written there. The second square number is shown as the square has two dots in each. Up the third square hai, this shows nine. So three, 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 three times, nine. Now four squares shows four times. One, two, three, four, four times, which means 16. So patterns with consecutive odd numbers. Relation of consecutive odd numbers to square. Up kya relation hai in consecutive odd numbers ka? Let's see. So 1 is written as 1. Now 1 plus 3 is 4 which is 2 square. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9 which is two, uh, 3 square. 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus, uh, 5 plus nine, uh, 7 is equal to 16 which is 4, four square. So you can see how many numbers we have added. These all are consecutive odd numbers. Odd numbers are the ones that come after. So when we add these numbers, we get a certain number or ye jo number hai, a particular number ka square hai. Now when we add further on, we get 25 which is a square of 5 and next we get 36 which is a square of 6. Similarly, 49 square of 7 and 64 square of 8 and 81 square of 9. Now let's learn about magic squares. Magic squares kya hote? A magic square is a group of number having the same number of rows. Ye ek aisa number hai jis mein ek tarikhi ke hi rows hain ya fir columns hote hain. 
the number of the sum of numbers in each row column and di is diagonal in the same so ye jo numbers hain har ek row mein ya column mein ye diagonal hota hai diagonal ye same hote hain for example find the magic number magic number hame dekhna hai so here let's see how can we find out the magic number magic number 13 10 14 and 11 and 16 then complete the magic squares so here you can see 15 8 now 12 and 9 is given so ab humne in magic numbers ko find out kiya hai kaise find out kiya hai so we can see it's written here next is triangular numbers some whole numbers can be represented in a triangular pattern kuch whole numbers ko hum triangular pattern mein likh sakte hain सच नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड ट्रायंगुलर नंबर्स और ऐसे नंबर्स को हम ट्रायंगुलर नंबर्स कहते हैं नाउ लुक एट द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स 1 3 6 देन 10 15 21 देन 28 36 एंड 45 द नंबर स्क्वायर कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज अ पैटर्न ऑफ डॉट व्हिच फॉर्म्स अ ट्रायंगल ये जो नंबर स्क्वायर है इसे हम पैटर्न ऑफ डॉट के फॉर्म में लिख सकते हैं जो एक ट्रायंगल बनाता है सो ये यू कैन सी वन नाउ थ्री इज मेकिंग अ स्क्वायर नाउ यू कैन सी सिक्स इज मेकिंग अ स्क्वायर सॉरी ट्रायंगल टेन इज मेकिंग अ ट्रायंगल एंड फिफ्टीन इज मेकिंग अ ट्रायंगल सो दिस इज ट्रायंगुलर नंबर्स सम अदर पैटर्न सो दूसरे पैटर्न है वो क्या है ऑब्जर्व द पैटर्न एंड फाइन द मिसिंग नंबर so here you can see the various numbers are given and a particular pattern is written here so here children we can we have to observe the pattern that is given here now fill in the missing numbers so yahan pe hame missing number ko fill karna hai here you can see 8 plus 1 is 9 and 9 ka square is written here which is 18 similarly 6 plus 4 is 10 ab 10 ka square is written here Similarly, eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen plus square is written here. So here also we have to add these two numbers: seventeen plus two, which is nineteen. Now nineteen ka square we are going to write here. So here we will get three hundred and sixty-one. So this is our answer. Here you can see it's done. It's written here. Now let's do this exercise sixteen. Here we have to complete the following patterns. So here you can see thirteen, then nineteen, thirteen, then nineteen. So children, here we can see there's a difference of six. We have to add six numbers. Six numbers to add, then we will get nineteen here. Now again, we are going to add six. Nineteen with six add, then we will get twenty-five. Again six, we will get thirty-one, and again six, we will get thirty-seven. And similarly, when we add again six here, so we will get forty-three. Now let's move on to this B part. Twenty-five, then thirty, then thirty-five, then forty. Here you can see five-five differences there. So next number will be forty-five, and then fifty. Similarly, children, you have to do the rest. Let's do this H one, one. Uh, now three, now three multiply three is nine. Nine multiply three is Twenty-seven. Now twenty-seven multiply three is eighty-one. Now we, when we multiply three here, we get two hundred and forty-three. So this is the pattern that is to be followed here. So similarly, children, you have to do the rest questions. Now question number two is which of the following number can be arranged in a triangular pattern? Triangular pattern means which number can be arranged in a triangular pattern? So here, let's see. Let's see this twenty-one. So yes, it can be divided by 
3 and it is the number, this number can be arranged in a triangular pattern. Now again, this is also a B question. This can also be arranged in a triangular pattern. Next, C here 10. So we can see, we can arrange this or not. So yes, this number can also be arranged into a triangular pattern. Now, question number 3 is, Complete the magic square. Here we have to complete the magic square. So how did this answer came? Here you can see that uh, 4 plus 3 is uh, 8, uh, sorry 7. And here one bigger number 8 will come. So here we can, uh, we have written 3. Similarly uh, here 6 plus uh, 2 is 8. Now, what number is remaining? 7 is remaining. So, that's why we have written 7 here. Next. So, children like this, you have to do the rest question. Next one. Now, let's move on to question number 4. Complete the pattern. Here you can see various numbers are written. We have to complete this pattern. So, children, in this first question, what we did? We have multiplied these two numbers. 15 multiply 7. Then we got 100. Similarly, we have multiplied these two numbers, 17 multiply 9, so we get 153. Similarly, let's multiply 5 and 17, so we got 85. 5 multiply 15, we got 75. 22 multiply 9, we got 198. So, similarly, children, you have to find out the pattern that is here and then complete the given space. Now let's move on to question number 5. Observe the pattern and fill in the missing numbers. So here you can see some numbers are given. Uh, it's 4 plus 1 is 5 and 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have to uh, take out the square of 5 which is 25. Similarly 3 plus 9 so, here children you can see 4 plus 1 is 5 and the square is taken here which is 25. 3 plus 9 is 12 and the square is 144. 7 plus 1 is 8. So, the square of 8 is 64. Now, 2 plus 4 is 6. The square of 6 is 36. So, like this children you have to find the answer of this question. So with this, we have completed the chapter, children. I hope that you have understood it. And uh, you have to complete the exercises that is given to you as homework. I will be meeting you soon with a new video. Till then, stay related.